Hey guys, Jake back at you with another kit review for the channel. It's uh, It's been a little while. It's been two months now. A little, a little under two months. And uh, I decided to do a little kit review for you guys today. I have not seen what, it, what is in this kit yet. I've only opened the box just to save a little bit of time. And there is a lot of stuff in this kit. Better view over here. This box with all the plastic weighs about my guess my best guess would be about you know, three pounds or so. There's a lot of heavy plastic in this. Oh, and there's loose parts. Oh, that's always enjoyable. So, yep. This will screw out. So here we have we have the back of the trailer here. As you can see, you got some wheel backs, some brakes. Can't quite tell what those are. And a little bit of flash on them, nothing too major. Uh, again, can't quite tell what these are. Um, looks like a uh, foot for the landing gear. Uh, Looks like something off the movable trailer that you tow behind a truck. I'm not exactly sure what it would do on this kit. I'll just uh, set that over there. And this screw we have. Uh, landing gear for one of the trailers. I'm guessing this would be. I'm going right here. I'm guessing this would be for the two different trailers connecting them uh, some mud flaps uh, I believe and these are the tracks for the doors on the inside this is again one trailer some more feet and angles and here we got some suspension stuff up here Damn, sorry about this being very zoomed in it's a new phone and I'm still getting used to it So here we have another one of these wheels, uh, some more, looks like maybe a shock, there's a lot of stuff on here that I don't know about, and then these two giant pieces of plastic, probably useful, I really don't know. And here we have the uh, frame rails, these are... Uh, See along there. They're almost 91 millimeters long each. And there will be two for each, or, uh, two for each trailer, so it'll be four in total. You see there's two here. You see they have the leaf springs and the, wait there folks, oh, the leaf springs. Hangers, where the axle will go right there. And there's something up here, can't quite tell what it is. Oh. <clears throat> here we have some more leaf springs and hangers and shackles. Nice little sprue. We have, loose in the bag, we have this, which I'm guessing is part of a moving mechanism, I'm not sure. Another feet for the landing gear. If it'll focus. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Very nice, crisp detail on all these parts. Another bag open here. So here, same as one of the last sprues, mechanisms, mud flaps, wheel backs, landing gear, suspension, things like that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Seems like this entire bag is just stuff that we already seen. Again, big piece of plastic here. More suspension things. Oops. Could be bad. 
see again back of the trailer more frame pieces I'm not exactly sure <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to take my throat today. Again, these springs. Very nice detail on them. And these springs are attached to the subframes. And that's it for that leg. Let's move on to the chrome. There's two full screws of chrome. Oh, there's three actually. Oh, four. Oh, wow. There's a lot of chrome in this kit. Hmm. Those are the 50 wheel hitch, too. I want to the 50 wheel hitch. Oh, for a second trailer. See? Got the uh, nice, I guess these would be outer wheels. Very nice chrome on this kit. It's a fairly new kit. It was just released, uh, I don't know, it'll be December or so. No, when was December? Because I got it in December. Maybe November or some time around there. Very nice chrome. That's one sprue. And same sprue. Different sprue, but same sprue. Same things on it. There's another two uh, sprues of chrome. Some more uh, Tays BB inner wheels. It's not very detailed. Fifth wheel hitch for the uh, second trailer to attach to the first. Some wheel rings. And believe this would be an air tank. Not exactly sure on that one. And then. And there's the duplicate of that one, which comes with another one of these, which is useful I guess. I don't know why you need to but nice to have extra parts. Sorry about the squeaky chair. I need to get a new one quite soon. Okay here we have uh, some nice tires. So I'll quickly open up the tires so you can get a good look at one. Very nice detail on them. They are uh, squishy, a little bit squishy. They are hollow, but they have this thing in the middle, which I believe you would cut out. So they are uh, branded. See if I can get branded Firestone. They are Firestone Transport One Tens. Very nice tread. A little light sand would make it very, very, very nice. And we have the uh, red chicken chicken lights, as I would call them, and tail lights. We have three nice metal axles and quite a bit of rubber hose for doing airlines. See? Oh, fall out. Oh, wouldn't you know? Wheels roll. Here we go. This is the stuff I've been looking forward to. So here we have the uh, front of one of the trailers. Very nice. Very nice road detail. Close up to the camera. Again. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but I sure can. See, very nice detail. It's, uh, can't quite tell what that is. It's like a rivet on plate or something. There's a lot of plastic in this kit. I never realized how much. Then duplicate for the other, the other 27 foot drill. And then, whew, big cheap plastic. This would be, uh, I'm guessing it would be the side with all the rib detail, and it would be, uh, was, that's my hand for, sp for perspective. So, uh, not small by any means. It's quite long. It would be, uh, I'm not sure. So, 
So it's a little over 12, a little over 12 inches, so just over a foot. And we have two, three, four, something like that. And more big slabs of plastic. sheets of plastic. So here we have, I honestly don't know what these would be. I've seen 18 wheel trailers many times and I've never seen these before. Back there. See, duplicate. We have, looks like the, uh, door of the trailer, kind of like a garage door and sections where we go up and down. Two of those. And here, we have the uh, bottom, it's a nice wood detail. I don't know if you guys can hear that enough, it's very, very nice. Very beautiful detail on it. Nice uh, panel liner wash and brown would bring that out over wood color. And then we have the uh, we have the nice big roof panel. Very smooth. I guess if you don't like 18 wheelers, it'd be good for a uh, be say millimeter thick styrene sheets. Again, more wood detail, flat panel for the roof. Ignore the noise in the background, it's just my furnace going. The instructions out. Typical AMT instruction manual. We have to undo the tires. Uh, looks like suspension and Landing gear, things like that. Right here we have uh, all the things for the outside of the trailer and inside. We have like the rib sides. So you get the track right there. So it's it's a very big instruction seat, instruction sheet, sorry. So here we got the landing gear. And in the car guy world, it'll be the subframe and the axles and the tires. Air brake tanks down here. Then we have the enormous decal sheet. See, it's uh, Mm. A little under, uh, be about 10 inches long, if my uh, workbench serves me right. Oh. I sure don't want you to get into these decals. Wow, it's been tightly packaged. Cut. Choo. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Very, very nice decals. The uh, consolidated freightways. Got four of those, two for each trailer. And two mini ones. I don't know. I guess they go on the door, maybe. And we got a couple of other logos. These, I guess, would go on, on the truck. And we got a common carrier, a little American flag right there, right there. Tons of license plates. A 
up there, we got, uh, we got three different styles of Michigans, all to come in two stickers for each state. And we got Wisconsin, two of those, two Oregon. And for our people across the pond, we have some European license plates. Line of the day savers, truck numbers. Let's see, down here. Let's see, the camera folks on them. Very nice white decals. Showing company, uh, where they're located, things like that. More register numbers. And up here, you have manufacture the trailers. Zoom down. Trailer mobile. More register numbers. A couple of AMT logos, as always, in these AMT kits. More consolidated freightways, Portland, Oregon. And uh, yeah, that's all that's in the kit. So, with that being said, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out. My Instagram, it'll be right here somewhere. And, uh, yeah, have yourself a good day. Forgot to add that this coming weekend, you guys will have another review of the uh, Salvino's JR Models, Kelly Arbro number 28 Monte Carlo. That'll be building for a friend of mine who's commissioned me to build it for him. And uh, this is a picture of, the, of his car. And, uh, yeah, have yourself a good day.